accept data from the terminal or standard input, we can use the scanner class that has already been defined in the standard library java.utilpackage. So a package means that's a collection of classes. So java.util is a package that contains the scanner class. So before using this class, we have to import that class name by the statement import. So if you want to use the scanner class in your program, first of all you have to import that package in your program using import java.util.scanner. Otherwise we can use import java.util.star that means we, have a, we are importing all the classes that are defined in the package java.util. Now see how can we use this scanner object. First of all we have to create an object of scanner class that is scanner object name is equal to new scanner argument system.in. System.in represents our standard input string. So we are creating an object scanner object scanner object name is equal to new scanner within bracket specify the standard input system.in. Now we can use this object in order to collect different types of input data that is input data integer input both double boolean etc. So if you are using an integer data we can use the method our scanner object name dot next int next int i capital next int means usually all the data collected through the standard input is of the form string so before assigning that string data into our variable that are to be converted into the specified data type that means if we are accepting an integer data before assigning the data into the variable name convert the data into int form that is our scanner object name dot next int. Similarly, other inputs such as we can use if it is a boolean data, we can use next boolean method for byte next byte. Then similarly for a double data, we can use next double float next float. Then if it is a string data, we can use next line. Similarly for long data, it is next long and short next short. So if you are using a scanner object, first import your package, import java.util.scanner, import java.util.scanner semicolon, then create an object of the scanner class, scanner object name is equal to new scanner system.in, then accept input data that is object name dot next. This is a string data, so we are directly using input data dot next. Then similarly if you are accepting or reading an integer data, we can use input dot next int. Similarly, we can use a boolean data input dot next boolean. 